everybody how are you doing uh, I hope that you guys are doing good hi we've got Guido Von Beardo Angie just a lurker Kratos cat flare rabbit old bat how are you doing so um most of you pro well I don't know there I there was a stream that I did last night with new Shani and Rev um and then just a little while ago, I uh, got up and saw that there's two new videos on um, Instagram. I had a feeling that's what was going to happen. I don't know why. I just had a feeling that they were going to be streaming a lot today. That's why last night I decided to just go go ahead and jump on when I did and cover it because I didn't want to get too behind. So I'm glad that we did that because there is new stuff. So without any further delay let's jump right into this and see what Shani is saying today people really fucking annoy me no oh. well you when they really invalidate me fucking annoy us <laughs> pussy go lightly <laughs> Uh, welcome to the channel. I like your name. So in my last video, I was lying down. I, I, I didn't know I couldn't do that. What but do you mean? They're comparing me with God Life damn. by Jen, by the way. I Shani? Shani, are you so fucked up right now? That you can't even open your eyes? Why are you sitting here talking and you just have your eyes closed the whole time? What is going on? I block them. I don't give a shit. Yeah, you do. You care a lot. For the last... Two something months, I've been working at losing weight. Yeah, um, right. By the way, the hubby is eating a, a pie, so. Oh my God. That's all me right there, man. Praise God. Yeah, I actually, I eat. Were you born in a barn? Were you born in a barn? The fuck? He just eats the pet the pie right out of the fucking container. The whole pie doesn't cut a piece off. No, 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 no. No, he's gonna hold the whole thing and eat it like that. Like these two are might as well be fucking twelve. That is the mentality that, that they have. As like they they are literal children. And I think that's why they get into so many situations because right then what he was doing and the way that he looked, that is seriously something a child would do. Like, I used to be too lazy to do that when I was a kid. Like, get a plate and do all this kind of crap. So just eat it out of the fucking container. Most adults, you know, like, aren't going to do that. So they don't have to wash dishes. You're probably right, Hunter. God. So lazy. 
Because I starve him, right? But anyway. How, wait, how, how would you even be capable of starving me anyway? I, I'm trying. It's called not giving you food. How would she be capable? Mm, let me see. Telling you not to eat it like she did the grasshopper cookies? Rev, you can fucking get up here and, and say some bullshit. But we have eyes. We have eyes, and you aren't eating, and Shani is. And that's what we're basing the way that we feel off of. You can say that you eat, Rev. You can say that over and over again. But you're not going to make us not believe our own eyes. Clearly, you're not eating much. And that's why we say it, so whatever. I'm trying to understand that, like... I have you drugged up and control you. Oh. I was just curious how that could happen. That's the theory. Okay. I don't I... think that you have to drug him up. But it's like... Probably your you, obesity but... is causing you the pain. ignorance and it's like do, do you know anything that's happening to me medically for you to feel confident enough to say that uh -oh. malarkey <clears throat> malarkey sound like my grandmother you clearly have not been listening like, seriously, that did remind me of my grandmother. Malarkey? I haven't heard that word in a while. To what I've been saying about my pain and where it's been directed from and how it's getting there. Should I have to repeat myself? Because I've really done repeating myself. Then why are Just you Just because you it? watch. Fuck. If you're done repeating yourself and you're above talking about shit and blah, 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 why are you on here doing it then? You're literally doing exactly what you're, you're trying to act like you're not. If you didn't care, Shani, you wouldn't be on here doing all this you want money and you want to try to convince people that you're not a bad person you're just sick but most of us have been around for a while and know better than to listen to you in youtube videos about me obsessively like some fucking weirdo does not mean you know anything about my fucking life okay because a lot of people make shit up. They put un untrue things in people's minds. Mm -hmm. And cause people to doubt. But I'm just going to continue living my life. Knowing very well that I blocked you. Because you are repeating those same fucking lies. Oh. And I will not have lies. So that's what this is about. So someone <coughs> was being nice to her or friendly with her. And then eventually that person probably had to say something because Shani was probably complaining to them all the time, asking for money. The person even may have given Shani and Rev money, but then gotten to a point where they can't give more. You know what I mean? And say, look, we just don't have enough. And that could be enough for Shani to, you know, completely lose her mind and come on here and, you know, do what she's doing. Try to convince us. Try to get ahead of whatever this is. You know what I mean? Because if it's someone that, was friends with her and knows a little bit about her or whatever you know what i mean like that's the, those are the people that usually end up exposing her in some way and uh 
she definitely tries to control that. She doesn't want she doesn't want you to get that information. Is on my comments. Now, people should know it's just inaccurate to say apple fritter. Jesus Christ. Now you're eating an apple fritter? Are, like, is this just, did you guys do this to prove that Jason eats? Because he had a whole pie two seconds ago. Now he's eating an apple fritter when he hasn't even fucking left the couch. Being a fucking pig. Anyway, it should be known and said that the doctors do not diagnose her as obesity is the problem. No, it's not. Yeah, her underlying is. health issues, the weight's a consequence of her. It's the consequence of no. the osteoarthritis. No. Basically. No. So you're trying to say that she wouldn't have these health issues if there wasn't, if she didn't have arthritis? Um, Rev, there are a lot of fucking people who have arthritis and never get big like that and never gain money like money. Well, you don't gain money either. Gain weight like that. You're full of shit. And if you think that anybody believes that, I mean, my God. You think that you guys just think you can get on here and lie and and but you know what? That's the thing is that there's always probably at least a few people who do buy it and do believe it. And that's why you do it. That's her main issue. No, it's so not. So it's not accurate to say that obesity is her problem. It's not. That's it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is completely yeah. accurate. Ugh, I hate I'm not Instagram. Gonna die. I hate Instagram because now the video isn't lining up with the fucking visual. It does that all the time on here, and it's so fucking annoying. I like life by Jens. <laughs> I mean, God bless that person. What even happened to them? They I don't know. I don't know. I never watched them. No, that was not somebody we watched. But I really wish people mm -hmm. would stop comparing others to others because they're fat. That's so dumb. That's why is that dumb? Are, do you compare black people to black people because they're black? Oh my god! I don't know. It's Shani, basically the same you? thing. I don't know, Shannon. Do you now? You're gonna drag race into this when it has nothing to do with it, just so that you can fucking say some shit and get be high and mighty and crap like. You don't want to bring that up. You don't want to bring the way that you've treated black people up. Don't go there. Because you two are huge racist. Don't even fucking start. It is. Yeah. Or Asians are the same. Nobody's saying that. Or white people are all, all look the same. Or native people all look the same. Fat people all look the same. You, do you, you wouldn't say that they all look the same, but let's face it. I mean, your ethnicity, you do see that from the outside. So I guess you would know. Like, it's just so stupid. What she's saying is so fucking retarded. Like, sorry, I don't normally say that word. I apologize. But she drives me insane with this shit. She really does. So they have to have the same things in common. Oh, thank God. I apologize for saying the R word, though. I apologize. I shouldn't have said it. That's offensive. It's so fucking offensive really and is. stupid. It's horrible. Yeah. Fat people aren't a monolith. Who would ever think that? And especially in terms of health care. I don't know life by Jen, but what was her issue? Did she have an eating disorder? Shani does not. Shani does not binge eat. 
Yes, she does. Am she's been forced to really cut back drastically. Eating as much as she is, to be as big as she is, and to keep that weight, it, it is a disorder. She does have an eating disorder. You, it's not just an eating disorder if you don't eat. There's also eating disorders where you eat it more. <sighs> he acts like we're all just dumb. Stickly on her food. So, you're... Just don't say these stupid things, because it's just, you don't know what you're talking about, number one. Just because she's he on the heavy side does not mean that that is her main health issue. It Because it's not. The other things are it way is. worse that she's dealing with. No, and, and it would directly affect those things if she lost weight in a good way. If she lost some weight, she wouldn't have as much weight uh, pushing down on all those joints and and all that arthritis she would it would be easier for her to move around it'd be easier easier for her to get up and get down you know get down instead of like having such a hard time when she goes to get up to go to the bathroom or something like that it would affect that it is important even if that isn't her only problem which it's a big problem, but I'll even give them that. Like, it, I can't. I just can't with these two today. The weight is a consequence. No. That's it. No. And she qualifies for bariatric surgery for that reason. She got I heavy. Thought that the, I thought she had arthritis from uh, being in a uh, whitewater rafting fucking accident where she fell out of the boat when she was on like whitewater rafting and hurt her knee really badly that's what she says that's what she explains happened because of her health conditions and getting the weight off would help her joints you know so jen yeah, had cancer oh so it was it would help her joints but it's not the cause of it once she you know, isn't doing that. Like, that's not the cause of, the weight is the cause of a lot of this shit. And the fact that you guys are still trying to say it's not, just tells me you're in denial still. Huge denial. It wasn't about her obesity at all. What the? This is why you people exactly forever. Brandy says, Hey, Rev, stop buying crap food. Shani isn't going to the store. You are stop bringing junk food. That is such a good point because he is the one that goes to the store. He is the one that's bringing it back. Now I will say she probably gives him, he has hell to pay if he doesn't get her some shit. So he probably feels like he kind of has to, but He's the one bringing it in there. It's just like last night, I was so irritated with uh, Cobes because yesterday, apparently, last night or whatever, he sent her food for dinner, but he also sent had alcohol delivered to her. And it's like, dude, you know she's got an issue. You know what's going on, and you're still buying her alcohol? And I get that he's an alcoholic too, so I guess maybe I should I'm expecting too much from him to not do that. But it's just like, dude, when she starts acting crazy, breaking shit, or has some kind of knockdown drag out with her friend her parents, that's gonna be partly on you, Cobes. Because you're the one that's supplying her with the alcohol now that she doesn't need. Are so fucking stupid. Like, straight up. That's awesome, Wisteria. Well, that's the thing. They're, uh, Forever Brandy, they're talking out of both sides of their ass. It's like, oh, the weight isn't an issue. Then why are the fuck are you getting weight loss surgery? 
you don't get weight loss surgery for your for arthritis. All right, you get weight loss surgery because you're fucking overweight. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I'm just I. No words, how I hate the way this happens on Instagram. I apologize, you guys. I mean, it's the video is not synced up and it's really annoying. How stupid you are. <laughs> That's how silent I've been. Yeah. Just like she died of cancer. <laughs> I thought she died of obesity. No, it was cancer. So you're literally just connecting Shani and Jen. Rev, I will give you this. You're smart. You waited till she went live, and then you just started eating everything, didn't you? You're like, wait a minute. She's distracted. She's not going to go off on me if I eat this. Let me fucking throw back a couple of pieces of fucking pie and apple fritters and everything else. Because they're both on the heavy side. Okay. I mean, if that's how your brain works. Last time. <clears throat> Ew. I checked. Skinny people get cancer too. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Rev. Shut the fuck up. I cannot handle when he when she says stuff and she thinks she's being funny and Rev like eggs it on and he's like, oh, 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 oh Shani, oh. God, shut up, both of you. Definitely. A lot of people get cancer, you know, and a lot more people are going to get cancer because well, I can promise you the more overweight you are, the higher your risk for cancer goes up. Don't believe me? Go fucking look it up. If you're way overweight, you are at a greater risk for cancer. That is a fact. If you Google... Like it causes... Uh, being overweight can trigger a lot of different things. A lot. You can have a lot higher of a risk to get sick with other uh, illnesses if you're overweight. Fukushima. Oh, oh here we go. F U K I S H I M A. Fukushima. You would know that an earthquake and a tidal wave destroyed a nuclear facility and because of that the wastewater of the nuclear facility aka the radiation seeped into our oceans and it's been radiating us ever since it's been radiating us <laughs> we've been radiating and not only that, 5G causes cancer, and that shit is everywhere. We're all dying of cancer. We just haven't found out it all. You know, it's like the walking dead. Okay, well, if you really feel like that, why are you bothering having surgery done? Hmm? Hmm? What's your point? Why are you going to go and get surgery when we're all about to die anyway? Right? What's the point, then? If you really believe that. Ed, when the CDC director said we're all infected to Rick Grimes, it's like that. We all have cancer and we're all dying. That's why the Bible said there'll be no flesh left because everything has cancer. What? <clears throat> the Bible Because mankind destroyed the earth. It's it's biblical. It's mm -hmm. biblical. I'm not so sure about that one. 
scientists everywhere are saying we're at the fifth mass extinction. No, I love not. everybody. Ten dollars for cigarettes. What? That was Tretz, sorry. Rev, you're a fucking idiot. You are such a piece of shit, dude. Just no respect for yourself at all. Oh, I need cigarettes. Oops, there's my Tourette's again. You're so fucking pathetic. What do you want me to do? You need to e-beg, obviously. No, I, what the hell are you I literally just did that fast and I wasn't going to say anything. Wow. Wow. Well, I put you on blast. Yeah, thanks. Jen could not fit in machines, which is why she did not get the treatment. What makes you think I can't fit in the fucking machines? And I'm that's not, not what I don't Jen. think that's not what she's saying. Yes, you are. You're every bit as big as that chick was. Yes, you are. And the fact that you're saying that, if you really believe that, Shani, that just shows how sick you are. Because you are that big. And if you don't look at yourself like that, you're delusional. Delusional! And I don't think... Fuck you guys for saying that shit about me! I don't think they were, though. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rev. No one was saying that. Literally no one was saying it. But she wants to play the victim, so she's gonna act like that's what's going on. They're not saying about you, they're just saying- I don't give a shit, I have my period. I can be a bitch. Ew! So we don't need to know when you're on your period, Shani. For fuck's sake, I am so I know more about when your period is than my own. That's not fucking normal. Quit talking about it all the time. You can have a period and not have to let everybody else know. <clears throat> God. Yeah, I just want it known that the her main health condition is not Ugh, free bleeding. No. No. Not obesity. Yuck. It's the stuff that caused the obesity. That's her actual. Yeah, she didn't say that. I used to hike mm -hmm. five miles a day. I used to be athletic. Mm -hmm. Bitch, when? Bitch, when? When did you used to hike five miles a day? I want to know. Because I don't believe that. I don't fucking believe that for a second. Yeah. I know. F hiked for five miles a day. No, you did not uh, ever do that. Yeah, I mean, there's not, there's not anything else I need to say on this. He just needs cigarettes. Yeah. I'm sorry. If somebody would be awesome and really kind and cool because I'm out. And I really would like, I just, it's a crutch. It's Get a, a crutch job. That's Get a job, Rev. Then you can have as many cigarettes as you fucking want. Someday I want to, no, that's not true. I want to smoke for the rest of my life. You're taking a GB for y'all. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mackie. Well, it's, it's nice getting yelled at in the morning. Good luck with those folks. Yeah, I appreciate you, Lynn. That's fine. Yo, Crypto Poor. Hey, Crypto Poor, could you freaking spare $10 for some cigarettes? God, I hate I hate it. It's disgusting and <laughs> pathetic. You're poor by crypto, but you got ten. You got ten bucks for cigarettes. Maybe we could not donate more if Shannon didn't rage us over nothing. Oh, go fuck yourself, motherfucker! Well, good luck with that. Now. I'm done. <laughs> I don't know who this dissection girl is. Go fuck yourself! I want everyone who is against this dissection girl to say, "Go fuck yourself" to her. Jesus Christ, dude! Wow. You never donated to us. Shut the fuck up. 
I bet they did. I bet they did donate to your fucking ass, you ungrateful fucking fat bitch. You make me sick. You really make me sick. And you know who makes me even more sick than that? The fucking people giving you money. Like, whoever this fucking person is in their chat, in their comment section, they said, I just sent you $20, get two packs of smokes, and don't pay attention to the shit people say. I've been there myself, and putting pe and people putting you down and judging you while you're struggling sucks ass. <clears throat> Fuck off. Fuck off. What kind of fucking loser do you have to be to give these fucking idiots money how pathetic they're pathetic enough but if you're if you feel that you have to give these idiots money to like get a little bit of attention or I, I don't know like that's pathetic you're fucking almost worse than them who the fuck are you I don't know you who are you ew Back okay. Away. Okay. I'm a perimenopausal menstrual woman right now. Huh. Oh. I'm 40 years old and I'm in horrible pain. It's funny how the rest of us have to deal with a period and these kind of things too, and we don't get on here and complain about it all the time. You ever notice that, Shani? You, it's, you, you're acting like you're the only one that has to go through these things. We all go through it, and we don't come on here and whine about it every fucking month. But somehow, every month, when you're on your period, you end up having to tell us about it. At this point, I, I could track your period better than I could track my own, and that's not normal. We don't need to know that. Please. Keep it to yourself. I actually did a few months ago. Well, thank you for that, but you can go fuck yourself. You never answered my DM. Oh, you're a lying son of a bitch. Wow. How dare you? Wow. Holy shit. This is real good. You lying son of a bitch. Only if Shani pronounces all of her ends in any word that has an in it in it, then I'll send at the end of stream. Love you guys. There. I love you too. I love you too. No, I am not going to look at my requests. If, listen, from me, if you sent money and we and you DM this and we did and I didn't get back to you, I got didn't. Because Shady don't do this shit no more. I do. I'm sorry I missed your message, okay? And thank you for the money. Rev has a little bit of sense. Not much. Okay. But a little bit. I can say whatever I want. Just because you gave me money doesn't mean I can't say whatever I want to people who are fat shamers. Whoa. Fat shamers. And not only that, ableists. Wah. Ableists. Wah, wah, wah. Some of them are, definitely. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, you do. And yeah, I will. Because I'm a big baby. Yes, I will. Rev, definitely message me after y'all's live. I know what it's like to need the nicotine. Thank you. I... Who? Uh, oh, not only am I Perry met menopausal menstrual woman i'm without cigarettes oh well tell your husband to get off his ass and get you some you're whoever that was could you take note of the name please what could you 
take note of the name. Mayhem Mackey. Thank you, bro. Okay. Not if you're e-begging. I wasn't e-begging. He's e-begging. Wow. <laughs> Woo. That was a mood swing. You want to see the fucking face of the person that will ask for the goddamn money? It's right here. I said, oh, $10 cigarettes and passed it. That was a message to anybody that, oh, okay, cigarette money. Yeah, here you go. Because there's cool people like that that don't make a big deal out of this shit. Yeah. That's the deal. Yeah. And you <laughs> I don't have to feel money. bad for being irritated because someone's fat shaming me. Yeah, you're getting fat shamed, bro. That's what. That's literally what the person in that comment was doing. That's definite. Life by Jen. What the fuck do you have to do with life by Jen? Yeah, you were just exactly. Because you were laying down. Doing exactly. It. Exactly. Doesn't make any sense. God, they're so <laughs> irritating. Yeah, thank you, Mayhem. Yeah, you're the shit. I like him. He's really awesome. He's a shit, man. He's awesome to talk to. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I can say whatever I want. No, you yes, can't. Yes, you can. And you do. do. You do. <laughs> I can be irritated if someone's fat shamed. Who are you to tell me how I feel and how I should respond? Yeah, I agree. If you don't like me, I don't give a shit. Like low we ball, know. you know. We know. We know. Life by Jen. Like, why do you bring that up? Why would <laughs> Why would you bring the person up? Yeah, right? Because it's another because YouTuber you said, that's you, overweight. Because you said you felt like you were dying or something? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't get it. Why? why? I'm in pain all the time. I'm having a lot of problems walking. There's something seriously wrong with me. Yeah, you have mobility. In the head. Mobility issues. And in the doctors the are trying to figure out what's wrong with me, and they don't fucking know, but they know there's something seriously fucking wrong. Yeah. Ron. Okay. Ron out yeah. of it. If you need to know the fucking truth, but to be fat shamed when I'm I'm working towards something, fuck you. We'll leave it to it, It's lady. being fucking negative like that is why women give up. Mm -hmm. Who are trying to actively lose weight is negative comments like that. Why is it a woman thing? Okay. You know, men it's, it's, it's comments like them. that that killed life by Jen. If she died of obesity, it didn't help her not get fat. Okay. The negative comments don't help. Foodie Beauty, Chantel Marie, a.k.a. Life by M Marie or something like that. Miriam. Miriam, yeah. Like, those comments don't help. Just like Well, the people that kiss her ass and blow smoke up her ass and aren't real with her, don't. those comments don't help somebody that's overweight either. They're equally... Um, bad. They, they, they. That doesn't help anybody either, because you're. It's not true. It's not realistic. Like the negative comments to Eugenia Cooney, that doesn't help her. Well, nothing else seems to help her either, though. So people are fucking sick of it. People are sick of it. These people that do this shit and, and put it out there on the internet and influence a bunch of other people with it. Like you. Like Eugenia. You deserve to be called out. I'm sorry this might be a hot take to some people, but Eugenia Cooney, what she does is not okay. I get that she is sick and anorexic, but what she's doing does affect other people, not just her. It's not really okay. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. In my opinion. And that might be a hot take, but.
That's my fucking problem. When have I ever been not anti-bully? Always. Okay. If I'm talking in a loud voice. Oh, is he? Well, I'll look. We'll see what Nick's doing after this. That it could be interesting. It's because I'm passionate. But we gotta do shanty first. Do you get there's a difference between passionate or angry or is everyone sociopaths and they don't understand emotion? Right. Everyone is a so that is people who are sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists, you do realize that's a fairly rare thing. It's not something that every day you see. I am so tired of people that like throw those kind of like words around so much like a narcissist or whatever because you're making the word meaningless like it's actually a really fucked up thing and it's not something that you see every day like it, it is it like it's common enough that like yeah i mean you i don't know maybe i don't know what i'm talking about forget it <laughs> abandon Like, Jason, he gets super loud when he gets passionate about a subject. Mm -hmm. And if I'm saying fuck you to someone, it's because you, you are acting like an asshole and saying things that are inappropriate to someone. You don't like it when someone meets the same energy as you do. Instead, you want to play little freaking mind games with someone and try to shame them. Nah, I'm not going to be shamed about how I feel anymore. I've gone through enough. I'm going to be real. And if you don't like me being real, you can go fuck off. I don't care. If you don't care, then why are you on here making a big deal about it? You clearly do care. And you don't want people to just fuck off. You want people to fucking give you money. So you can act tough and do whatever that act that you're trying to pull off right now is. But we all know it's bullshit. I spent my whole life being real to people. And then them doing this little guilt thing. And then I backtrack and say, I'm so sorry. I'm not doing that anymore. If you don't like how I talk, get the fuck off. Stop fucking hearing me. Go uh, away. Fuck off. Stop fucking hearing me. Oh my God. I ain't making money like you stupid motherfuckers. Who I ain't making to? money. Who are you talking to? Okay, I'm not monetized on anything. I'm doing this to say what I want to fucking say. Well, I'm not monetized. Damn. You, bitch, so try again. Now what are you going to say? And those who want to hear me, they will hear me. Those who don't want to hear me, they will not hear me. And I don't give a fuck anymore what you like and what you don't like about me. If you don't like me, fuck off. Be a fucking adult and walk away. I'm done. That was great. You can close out, bro. Uh, you're the shit, Mackie, all right? Um, this is a very good thing. As Kurt Cobain said, I'd rather be hated for who I am than love true for who I'm not. Exactly. Kurt's the shit. Jesus That's a very the generic bond. thing He's to like say. He's like the king and stuff. It's fine. That might be a hot take, too, but that's just like a very generic thing to say. Shit happened. Oh, well, okay. That's the first one. The first one ended. And uh, then apparently a couple hours later, they're back again. So let's see what they're saying on the next one. I want to thank you guys. I do agree with that statement as far as like, I, I would rather be, uh, what? What's, what is the hated for who I am than loved for who I'm not? Like, 
I I I get that. I agree with that. But it's just like I don't know. I don't know. One love. One love. Thank you. What? Thank you. One uh, love. One love. What? But love? yeah. One love. I know they ain't gonna stop, and love. haters are gonna hate because that's all they have to make themselves feel good in life. I guess. Uh. Haters gonna me hate. on the other hand. I'm just gonna be me. Right. I don't. I don't care about the shaming, the hating, <laughs> the trying to explain my life, even though they don't know who I am. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I don't give a shit anymore. You know, I'm at a point in my life. Tater's gonna tate. <laughs> <laughs> where I'm just I'm I'm just gonna choose me, I'm gonna choose my husband, and I'm gonna choose my sons and my cats. That's that's where I am. Fanny, don't go there. Do not go there. You're not gonna do shit for your kids, clearly. So just don't even bring them up. Really. Keep them off the fucking internet completely. That's what you need to do with your kids. Yeah. You know, uh, like, you want to come to me and say shit things to me? That, that's, like, the only thing that's going to happen is, you know, you get blocked and then maybe I pop off a little. Uh, but, like, I got better things to do with my life. Then go do them! And there's much more interesting to, to do on the internet than... Than what? What? I Ask guess. for money? You guys do. Beg you haters. Uh, you haters, debaters. You're just dumb. <clears throat> haters, debaters, reprobators. Uh, what else is there? And the more time goes on, the more dumb you look. <clears throat> you know, <laughs> I'm really? not worried about okay. anything. Okay. I'm not worried about death. I'm not worried about yeah, life. Are. If you weren't worried about it, you wouldn't talk about it all the time. I'm not worried about my loved ones because I know ultimately God's got this shit. I know ultimately God is my Avenger. I know ultimately that everything that happens to me is under God's will. Cause see, I'm, I'm being still, you know, and I'm waiting on him and whatever I need, I ask and he gives a fact it, it's it's a scientific fact okay well then you have nothing to worry about you know you know how you, you you examine something and you repeat it a bunch of times to know that there's a scientific conclusion on something it like the scientific method you know that thingy that um, thingy that yeah thingy. i kind of did that with god and it works so it's like god is scientific fact you could do it too, but you know, you have to listen to what the Bible says and Yeah, I'm not gonna follow anything you kinda that have you to... fucking say. Look at your life. You think I'm gonna take your fucking advice and run with it? You're out of your goddamn mind. You're the last person's advice I would take. Pray the way he tells you to and Yeah, you know, you, you, you kinda have to, you know. Try your best not to do horrible things to people for that to work because I don't know, like all your wishes and all you want, all your wants are based on only you, you know, you don't have like the creator of the universe, like having your back and really serving you like he's the servant king.
and he does serve those who love him. He does. So in gratefulness of him serving me, I serve others. And I serve him by giving out his How glory. How do you serve others? How do you serve others? I need you to explain that. You don't even, oh my God, this woman, look at her. That's how, that's a good screenshot right there, though. Look at the eyes. Wow. Shani. Mm -mm -mm. This message that he's real, he's here, he sees everything. So sinning's not really a good idea when, you know. You got You're cameras all caught. on you all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, why do you do it? Um, you kind of caught red handed on, on stuff. Yeah. You, know, you, you have a relationship well. with God because he's always with you. So it's best just so you. It doesn't matter whether you have a relationship with him or not. He's always with you. That doesn't matter. You know, behave and learn that all these bad behaviors that some people think is really cool is just really self-destructive so why would you want to be self-destructive by doing their bad behavior oh my god I when can't. you can do good build people up and make them realize that life is full of joy as long as you take the evil out. Usually why I don't mess with anyone about anything because I know bad stuff happens when I let that, when I let people in. So I'm just going to continue to stay holy, AKA separated and Right. Do my own thing. You're delusional. It's better for me. It's better for others. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep talking to God, my cats, my husband, and my sons. Watermelon. Uh -oh. What is going on? Why are you meowing, girls? She's probably hungry. Watermelon. Go check now on she's your being cat. extra quiet. She's probably talking to ghosts. This is an old house built by Mason. So there's what? some things around this house that are quite, hmm. What? But anyway. Like what? Like what? Love you girls. Yeah, dude. Love you, Michelle and Gucci. Let me see who else. Who? who, who oh, I see a Jane, a a Jill Gill. Really selfish. It's probably a troll. Barmstrong, glittering glow sticks. That's cute. Mayhem. He's a shit. You know. It's just best to, like, keep your life personal and keep your internet life internet. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of bored. The husband's gone. Oh, what he must have when they got that so money. So to myself. Yep. When he went... Whoever gave him that money that in that comment that I read, you guys, um, he obviously got up and immediately went to the store to get cigarettes. So, and I've been watching these videos where it's like people being NPCs, and it's really freaking me out because what if all of life is just an illusion? And we're living in the matrix and we're really just like hooked up to tubes and some shit like that. Yeah. Never know. That sounds believable. Especially 
how life is. It's been so weird lately. There's such... Everything is, like, going down at once. New York City had an earthquake today. And I'm like, Another how one? the hell did we not... Another one? They had one not that long ago. And now they just had another one? Wow. Feel it. Like, I'm 90 minutes away from New York City. Everywhere else around us seemed to have felt it, but I didn't feel it. I did not feel the quake. That's crazy. She, they're an hour and a half drive away from New York City. I would be in New York City all the fucking time if I lived that close there. Do you know how much shit there is to do in New York City? Although, although, it is pretty crazy crime-wise there at the moment. So you could end up shank or some shit like that on the street. <laughs> Like, no lie. I don't know if that might be a reason not to go, you know? Huh. Anyway, take care of yourself and others. <laughs> DJ. I'm probably gonna Scranton has earthquakes every time Shanty shifts on that couch. <laughs> like, cuddle, cuddle Gavin or something. I don't know, maybe I'll just play, like, Corral Island. I suggest get it. If you like Stardew Valley, you'll love Corral Island. It's good. Alright, I'm, 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 I'm going, yo. Bye. Bye, bitch. Thank God, that's over. She is irritating. I can't with her today. Um, so apparently Nick Bravo is just live or is live. Let me uh pull up and see what what the fuck he's talking about today before we go. Not that we really care, do we? But I guess we do care enough to fucking check it out. I don't see it. If he was just live recently, he must have deleted it or something. <laughs> I got a PayPal from a uh, donation from Justin, and he said it's for cigarettes. <laughs> Thanks for the cigarettes, Justin. I appreciate that. Um. Well, I was gonna show it, but I uh, don't see anything new on his channel. He must have deleted it right after. He does that a lot. But what I will show is this. I never showed you guys this video, and I thought it was ridiculous, so might as well. I don't know if any of you know who Steven Crowder is, but apparently Nick made a video saying that I think I'm Steven Crowder's ex-wife. I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about, so let's Let's watch this together really quick. Hey guys, happy Easter. Uh, I am going to be doing a live stream later today. Uh, to basically, uh, Melly, one of Carrie's uh, flying monkeys. What? Uh, Melly is now a, one of my flying monkeys? Uh, has decided to make the claims that I disparage uh, single mothers and housewives and etc., this is well. You were trying to not trying. You were putting me down for being a single mom, and you did a stream. You and you and Sabella and some idiot, um, Jules. These people. You all got up there and went off about how I need to work and what a loser I am for not working. What a fucking loser I am to be uh, just not bringing any kind of income in when it when you a do that and don't have a kid to take care of and don't have a reason to be sitting at home but you were putting me down for that and that's all melly was calling you out about that i don't believe she's a flying monkey i don't believe she came and did whatever she just showed up in your chat and was like what the fuck essentially she didn't say that she didn't say fuck she's a christian and she's very polite 
but she does speak her mind and when she feels a certain way she does let people know and that's what she did and now you're pissed off about it but she's not a flying monkey get the fuck out of here with that based on a video wherein i was talking about stephen crowder's situation a famous relatively famous podcaster here on youtube who is you know a conservative um and then i talked about how uh in the conservative realm you know the, these red pill manosphere idiots i basically say you know they're demanding women be traditional right tradcon um but then at the same time when the woman is single or sorry when she's a, a stay-at-home mom and she doesn't work these same men these same men will call her a lazy whore and all these other things oh some men will call women that let me show you guys something really quick just that i just have to prove a point while we're here since he wants to talk about this and lecture about people um calling stay-at-home moms lazy things of that nature um well let's just see what did he call me just yesterday okay what is she freaking out about um so since she likes to go over to my community to have a cry about what's on there I posted the Nicki Minaj uh, yeah. stupid ho with the lyrics, and she's freaking out about that in her stream. She, she's um, freaking out. Freak! I have not freaked out about anything that you guys have done. I haven't freaked out on stream, off stream, at any point, and you guys have talked a lot of shit. So you can go get fucked. I haven't freaked out about anything. Don't flatter yourself. About being called a hoe <laughs> but yet she's the one watching your boyfriend take a shower <laughs> and then talking about my dick hey, hold on. why why were you taking a shower on camera nick you're you're you it's this is so fucking weird like you take a shower on camera whip your fucking shit out in front of everyone and flash the entire fucking internet and then come on here and call me a fucking pervert and go oh my god she why is she watching your boyfriend take a shower because her boyfriend is a fucking idiot and decided to film it and put it out on the internet that's why and i like to make fun of things small things especially and god knows yours is small let me rewind this i can hear exactly what she said i oh, oh my goodness yeah turn it i'm up cringy there. okay oh, yeah, whatever barely. yeah okay and i need to worry about you keeping your dick in your pants <laughs> no you don't need to worry about keeping him keeping his dick in his pants you just need to make sure he has on pants that's what you got to do. I was wrong. That was not the right advice. Sabella, just make sure he's got pants of any kind on. That That's what you need to do. Not worry about him keeping it in it. Because clearly, he kept it in it for 50 years before you came around. So, he doesn't have a problem keeping his dick in his pants. But he does have a problem keeping pants on. So, you may want to help him with that. <laughs> Yeah, I, we uh, nobody wants to see it, but apparently everybody but me was watching you with your dick out last night. Watching me, watching you, were listening. I was listening, but I wasn't watching. I was yeah, busy because doing you other work shit. on like Carrie because she's a lazy hoe. Oh, what was that? That was oh okay. So because you work unlike Carrie, she's a lazy hoe. So you didn't just call me lazy; you called me a lazy hoe. Implying that I sleep around, I guess, or something. So, that's how you talk to women, Nick. If I need to remind you, I will. That's how you talk to women. And about women. I basically say, you know, they're demanding women be traditional, right? Tradcon. Um, but then at the same time, when the woman is single... Or sorry, when she's a, a stay-at-home mom and she doesn't work. These same men, 
these same men will call her a lazy whore and all these other things. I mean, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. He literally just got done calling me a lazy hoe. And now, and then in this, he he's acting like that's wrong for a man to do that. Bro, you literally did that. That is what you did. Basically, you say, you know, they're demanding women be traditional, right? Tradcon. Um, but then at the same time, when the woman is single, or sorry, when she's a, a stay-at-home mom, and she doesn't work, these same men, these same men will call her a lazy whore and all these other things. Um, I wasn't saying anything about Carrie in respect to that. Um, this had to do with other people, more important people, a more important situation. And I am going to be showing some receipts of what I was talking about <clears throat> because... Uh, really, Will, this was from four days ago. When are you going to... When are the receipts going to come into play? Any idea? Because here it is four days later and you haven't provided that. Like uh, Lauren Chen, uh, Philosopher Cat, which I, some of these people you're not going to know the names of, but I can show Twitter uh, conversations. And Tim Pool was basically claiming that, you know, uh, because Steven Crowder has to pay 25K a month to his ex wife, um, that he's basically paying for her to sue him, which is nonsense. Again, Again, they want women to not work, but then again, at the same time, basically it's this whole attitude that women are just nothing but baby makers. And it's a really horrible attitude to have. <clears throat> yeah, funny, it is. Weird how you kind of seem to have that kind of uh, mentality. I mean, I've been a stay-at-home mom for 18 years, <coughs> and, you, and you're talking down to me like... I, I've done nothing. You just called me a lazy hoe. Well, I think I've done pretty well. My job was to raise my child and hopefully help him to be as successful as he possibly can and happy as he possibly can be. And I think I'm doing okay. So why are you putting me down and calling me lazy? Just wondering. But the thing of it is, is like, you know, I've noticed every video that I make, even if it's about completely other pe other people, completely different topics, they always want to, they always want to bring it back to the topic of me. They always want to bring it back to the topic of me. I could be talking about, and it's going to be kind of funny when I start doing news stories. And, you know, right. I'll be like, uh, uh, today, there was a, 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 you know, an industrial fire at a factory somewhere in, you know, Michigan or whatever. And they'll be like, remember how you stole a house? Remember you said, and I'll be like, what does that have to do with anything in this video? Now, mind you, there are still people who to this day think that that Fugitive fleeing to Tijuana video was real and not a comedy skit. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I need to just stop being surprised at the stupidity of these people. I want to see that video. Hold on. Let's see what, what if he still has this Tijuana thing. Because I don't think I saw that. Where did he say it at, I wonder? Was it in a live stream? Oh god, I'll find it in a minute, but this is weird too. Look at this shit. So, considering uh, tonight's unfortunate... This was right after he flashed his junk on live stream on YouTube. Unfortunate events, I feel the... Oh, thank you so much for the PayPal, Bruce. That is so kind. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You to uh, 
point something out, especially. And here he is, even though he thinks that we're all perverted and looking at him sexually, he's still going to jump on here without a shirt on. Uh, it really, like, Nick, it's gross at this point. You're making me want to gag. After seeing uh, certain people bouncing up and down, uh, begging to see a certain picture. I have to point out something. First of all, uh, in order to ride this ride, you must be... By the way, I, I'll, I probably have to make this, uh, you know, distinction, okay? Bruce, the Bruce that's in my chat and the Bruce that don't that's given uh paypal donations or uh cash up donations or super chats this is not the same bruce okay so before sabella and nick start running with that and being like oh bruce bruce you got something from bruce it's not the same fucking bruce i have a bruce that i'm friends with that has supported me and my channel for like I mean, basically the whole time I've been on here. So, it's not Sabella's ex-boyfriend or husband, Bruce. Has nothing to do with Sabella at all. Completely two separated things. So, just needed to make that clarification so that nobody gets the wrong idea. Because they will. The female and under 40. There's Bruce. So... <laughs> There's Bruce in the comments. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you for verifying so that this idiot doesn't run with it. I shouldn't have to do that kind of thing, but unfortunately, God, I have to. And also, I'm with Sabella. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, unless you want to end up like a cardboard box. Um <laughs> Is that a threat? I see. Is that a threat? Because maybe some, uh, just in case anyone hasn't seen what Sabella does to cardboard boxes. Um, let me pull this up for you real quick. And then it will be in a little bit better context what he was just talking about. Let's see. This is on the Fundy Archive uh, channel. Use against him in the future as whatever. This is what's going to happen the next time I see you do that shit. Okay? I'm going to have to set the camera down. Next time I see you pull that shit. Understand me, bitch! So, just in case any of you weren't <laughs> familiar with who Sabella is, this is Sabella, and this is what she does to cardboard boxes. So, I'll let you see this one more time. Against him in the future as whatever. This is what's going to happen the next time I see you do that shit, okay? Let's set the camera down. Next time I see you pull that shit. Do you understand me, bitch? <laughs> Do you understand me, bitch? Oh, Lord. Sabella. So, all I can say is, Sabella, if I was you... I wouldn't, if I was going to kill someone, I would not stab them because that, if somebody dies after being stabbed, they're going to come looking for you first. <laughs> they're going to see that video and they're going to go, oh, okay, here we go. Just saying. And also, I'm with Sabella. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, unless you want to end up like a cardboard box. Um <laughs> I suggest, uh, just, uh, you know, flick your bean in the privacy of your own home. 
God, yeah. why don't you not talk about other women's beans? You do this all the time. This, oh, why don't you flick your bean? Duh, 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 duh. Why don't, oh, they watch me and flick their bean, blah, blah, blah. Like, you love to say that, and it's so fucking gross. And, uh, just, um, let that be all it ever is, or will be. What say you, Sabella? I say you're a dumbass. <laughs> and no more naked streams. <laughs> you're a dumbass. Yeah, at least Sabella has a little bit of sense. Not a lot of sense, but a little bit of sense. Um, This lady is so funny. This lovely Mimi person. Anyway. All right. Well, that is going to do it, guys, for the moment. Um, let me double check and make sure that Shani and Rob didn't go live again or something before I wrap this up. And then I'm going to get some lunch and chill for a bit. Um, I don't know if Rabbit Old Bat is still here. She might be going live, um, soon. But, um, I will be watching for, uh, you know, to see if Shani and Rob do anything. Um, what about Queen Cobra? Let me check and make sure. Nothing's happening with her or uh, Copes. Let's see. She's not live. So, yeah. She's not live, and I doubt that Copes is going to be live. He's got a drink combo. He's got some new stuff. Maybe when, um, maybe I'll come back on later. And we can watch some of the Cobe stuff that's been going on. Um, not that it's been that, you know, entertaining, but he does have uh, quite a bit of new stuff on his channel that I haven't covered yet. Just He started uploading shit like crazy after she left. So, anyway. Um, and then uh, Nick and Sabella are going to be on vacation. They are supposed to be leaving to go on vacation today. Um, and they claim they are going to be doing some streaming and things like that when they're out. Um, so that could be fun. Um, as well as keeping an eye out for, um, Crystal and Leslie. And, um, maybe we can watch some of their stuff tonight as well. So, um, I will most likely be back. And thank you guys for hanging out for a little while. Um, sorry, I know this wasn't a really long stream. But um, like I said, I will be back. I just have a couple of things I need to do and, and chill out for a bit. So thanks again, guys. And I will be seeing you on the next one. Love you.